Hello, 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 everyone. This is Zingaya, your Zen Libran, and welcome to my channel, Zen Libran Tarot. How is everyone out there today in Tarot Land? I hope you're doing fine. I hope the day is going great for you. I hope so far you accomplished everything that you planned on accomplishing. And I hope you're in high vibes and high energy today because that's how we're rocking it here on my channel, Zen Libran Tarot. All right, um, today this uh, message, this reading is for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. Can you guys see that? Let me see. The Sagittarius, the wounded warrior. Okay, Sagittarius is a fire sign. Um, Sagittarius has a strong drive you know but also um sagittarius has a go with the flow type of quality you know very easy going i mean everybody gets along with the sag i mean um they have their own perception of the world um typically it's going to be from a spiritual aspect um they are great researchers um they look around to discover their own individuality. Um, and what I mean by that is um, these are truth seekers. Um, a Sagittarius will tend to study all the religions, you know, just to find um, truth in, in all, you know, because everything branched from one particular thing, which is the truth. So, whatever common denominator that they find in um, the subjects that they research, they would, they would go with that. You know, very good researchers, very good researchers. Um, they love to travel because uh, they like to experience other cultures. Um, because, like I said, um, all cultures branch from one particular one, which is the truth. You know, so the common denominator there, they search for the truth in all things, you know, to find the the real truth. You know, um, they dig. Um, they're uh, usually intelligent. Um, actually, they um, thirst for knowledge and they find... Um, they find intelligence attractive. Um, I want to say that they're sapiosexual, which means that um, intelligence is attractive to them, even on a sexual level. Sages and um, Libras get along very well. Um, they are a lot alike. Um, they're both truth seekers, um, very laid back, cool. You know, everybody likes them. They're usually the center of attention. I mean, I love Sages. I love Sagittarius. Sagittarius are my favorite people to hobnob with, you know, because they want to know the truth, you know. And um, the Sagittarius and Libras vibe on that level like that, you know. Um, they're both sapiosexual. They find intelligence very attractive. I know I do. Um, to just sit and have an intelligent conversation is like, who I love it. I love it because you, 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 there's so many people that don't have the brain that the creator gave to a net, you know, and um, it's hard to find people to have like minds like you. So usually uh, Sagittarius and uh, Libras, they gravitate toward each other because they have like like minds, um, uh, same temperament. Um, same characteristics um they get along very 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 well um i want to say hmm, that a sag is like non-committal i don't want to necessarily say non-committal because it's just like a libra i don't want to say that we're non-committal it is that um they don't like to be tied down um not say they won't be in a commitment but they they don't like to be controlled I say that if you want to try to control the Sag, you might as well don't even be in a relationship with them because they're always learning. They're always growing and they search for knowledge and they can't stand still 
um, in one place because you're not going to find out about anything staying in one place. So they love to travel and uh, experience different cultures and museums and um, just, you know, old things, tra old traditions and, you know, because they're searching for the knowledge. They're searching for truth, you know, um, anybody that they can learn from, they usually become friends with. They kick off with them. I mean, if you can't, um, if 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 um, my sage can't learn from you, they're not necessarily going to be with you, you know. And they are um, go against the grain type of people, you know. They're not uh, the normal traditional people out here, you know. Like I said, they're they're spiritual, so they are free. Um, free people, you know, they don't um, resist change. I love Sagittarius. I love Sagittarius. And um, they've usually been wounded. Um, so they use their experiences from their wounding to teach others. Actually, they uh, gravitate toward people that have been wounded because they can see the wounding in them that they had in themselves and they know how to comfort this person and heal this person. I mean, just like Libras. I mean, I love Sagittarius. You know, these are my favorite people. You can't go wrong with a Sag. You got a Sag in your life, they're loyal. Um, they will give you the shirt off their back, you know, if they can, you know, just like Libras. Um, loyalty is everything to a Sag. And if you step out of that, you know, that loyalty curve with that uh, Sag, just like a Libra, it's a done deal. They cut out games, it's like, it's like that, you know what I'm saying? So, Sages are some all around, down to earth, grounded, knowledgeable, thirst for knowledge people. I love the Sages, all right? All right, Sag, there you go. Fire sign. Um, Likes to take action, not sit around and just talk about it. They be about it, okay? All right. And, of course, this is the Goddess channel. So, we pull from the Goddess energy here. And we got my girl, Callie. Ooh, 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 ooh. You know what I'm saying? This is another one of my favorite. My favorite sort of segment in um, Callie. Callie's here. And I want to thank this goddess for honoring us with her presence. And thank this goddess for supplying us with her energy. We adore you, Callie. All right. Callie is off the chain, just like Sigmund. You know what I'm saying? Um, they wreck some shit. They destroy some shit. Okay. Um, Kelly is the goddess that is the master of death, death, time, and change. I mean, she destroys the evil in order to protect the innocent. Um, she's worshipped um, as the ultimate reality, the divine mother. Um, this is a bloodthirsty goddess. Um, um, she is the embodiment of destruction. Okay. And she also uh, fucks fuck men up. That treat women wrong. Okay. All right. All right, Sag. So, somebody here is fucking over a woman. They doing her wrong. And they encounter's coming in to fuck them up. You know. Because she protects the innocent by fucking the evil up. And she's bloodthirsty. You know. And she's always represented on the battlefield. You know what I'm saying. Um. She is a warrior goddess, and she is out to eat blood. That's how I be on the battlefield. Tell my um uh, my, sus my 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 subjects, you know, if I ran the camp, you know what I'm saying. I'm like, go out there and eat blood. You know what I'm saying. If you come back from battle and you ain't got no blood on you, something wrong, pimping. You ain't been doing something right. And Kelly don't take no prisoners. She will fuck you up. She thirsty. She loves the blood. She's ready. You know what I'm saying? Callie ain't no joke. You know, a lot of people look at her as a demon, and sometimes they look at Sigmund like that, but they're not. They just get 
getting rid of the, the, the bullshit and bringing in the new. You know, you have to destroy to create. You know what I'm saying? And and even if you out here you, you, existing on this realm and you up to some bullshit, Kelly going to take you out. Especially if you fuck with these females. Okay? This is my girl right here. You know, um, the energy of shadow. Um, people... Um, in our shadow energy, people that uh, hasn't done any shadow work, people that are um, living their life through trauma, uh, you know, people that aren't healed, that's out here hurting, they hurt themselves and they are here hurting people and hurting women, you know what I'm saying, because they are hurt, you know what I'm saying, Callie's here and she ain't on that bullshit and she's wrecking some shit, so who's ever... Out here fucking with a feminine. If you got turmoil and shit in your life, I'm telling you, this the goddess is just, just bringing in the drama, okay? Because she don't play that shit. And she's all for blood. So whatever it is, you better stop what you're doing, you know what I'm saying? Because Callie, <laughs> she's bloodthirsty. Do you hear me? So do your shadow work, you know, because you can't be out here hurting people. But hurt people, hurt people. All right? All right. My girl Callie represents i mean she ain't playing you know what i'm saying Callie ain't playing with ya let me light some stuff over here Callie ain't trying to play with you you know what i'm saying she ain't trying to argue you're nothing. If you did it, it's your ass. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be here if didn't nothing happen. So, you say that drama for your mama. I'm coming for that ass. That's Callie. She ain't playing. She ain't playing at all. You know? And I go over here. And we pull. Boundaries. You have 42. Bring it down to a 6. Which means relationships. So, there is a male here that is trying to take advantage of or trying to do some harm or doing some harm to some feminine. That's why Callie is here. Somebody is being evil to a feminine. And Callie is here to raise the roof and destroy that fucker, whatever the fuck they doing. You know what I'm saying? Sagittarius, this could be you or this could be somebody you're connected to. Um, check your... Um, your North Node, your Venus, your Ascendant sign, um, and to look at your birth chart. You know what I'm saying? Because you're you're you you have aspects in your chart, several signs. You're not the only thing that um, the day that you were born. That's not the only uh, part of the zodiac that you are. So people really get to know your um, your birth charts. Okay. All right. And the boundary scores say. My clear boundaries allow me to protect myself, nurture my intentions, and follow my true self. So, uh, you need to put some boundaries up. Okay? You need to put some boundaries up about a relationship. So, this is a relationship that someone needs to block out. There's a, a masculine here that's trying to hurt a feminine or doing some damage to a feminine. And this feminine needs to keep up their boundaries for this relationship with this particular masculine. All right? And Callie is kicking their ass, this masculine, whatever the fuck they doing, okay? So keep up your boundaries, okay? All right, and I pulled you are a rock star. You are a rock star. You, number nine, you are ending um, a cycle. Okay, you're ending a cycle and you're beginning anew as a rock star. You know, um, and being a rock star, you're going to deal a lot with jealousy. But that's okay. You have a higher pur purpose in life. You are meant to stand out from the crowd. You know, there's a light in you that needs to be seen. Even if... Um, you're doing um, something different, something that people don't understand. You know what I'm saying? You need to develop your self-confidence. Uh, then you can uh, rock your true self without toning it down. You know, you're a rock star. And you're meant to shine. 
you know you may have people that um that try to tone you down or or say you should say this or you shouldn't say that like that you know those are the people that you don't need to be around okay the people that accept you for you um they dig you and 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 dig the inner beauty of yourself uh for choosing to be yourself to be authentic to be different they can see that um aspect in you and they dig it because they have that aspect in them so if they're not like mind or not believing in themselves and they have self-confidence or great self-esteem you don't need to be around these people if somebody is trying to change you to conform to the way they see life and the way they do things you don't need to be around people you don't need to be around those people. You need to be with those like minds that uh, they dig that quality in you because they, they got that quality in themselves. Okay? You're a rock star. You're meant to shine. You're meant to stick out from the crowd. You know what I'm saying? You are a hundred different things because you're a rock star. But one thing you're going to do, you're not going to apologize about it. Okay? You're not going to apologize about it because you're authentic. Okay? All right, you're a rock star. All right, and of course, <coughs> we have position, position, position. It says step into your power boldly. Okay, so it's time for you're a rock star, boo boo. Um, Sagittarius, this could be you, or this could be somebody that you're connect to, connected to. Um, you're a rock star, and it's time for you to position yourself boldly and own it. Because this is your time. You done ended a chapter of your life where you were dealing with bullshit and stagnant. But now, it's your time to shine. So, boldly step out there. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Because Cali taking care of every fucking body that's trying to bring you down. Feminine. Okay? And make sure you keep your boundaries up from these type of people. Because where you going, they can't go. Because they vibe too low. You know what I'm saying? They can't go. All right. So keep your boundaries up with this type of people. Keep your boundaries up and being in relationships with these type of people. Be it a love relationship, friend relationship, or they even even could be family. Sometimes you gotta leave family behind because they don't fit into your criteria. You know, it's not your fault. You know what I'm saying? You chose the right path and, and you, 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 your frequency, they're not on your frequency. Okay? So you got to leave them behind. You're a rock star and you got to position yourself boldly. You know, and you can't have hangers on on you. You know what I'm saying? People hanging around for clout or pretending they care and they don't. You know, use your intuition. Um... And discernment with these people. But keep up your boundaries. Alright. Okay. It's time to position yourself. You know what I'm saying. The time for bullshit is over. And we got the four baskets here. Okay. And um, in the upright position. This is somebody that is really annoyed. Somebody is really annoying this feminine. This uh, person is bored with this particular person. Same old shit. Different day. You know what I'm saying? And they don't want to be bothered, you know. But this came out upside down. So you've been resisting this person. Uh, whatever tactics they've been trying to do, you ain't been thinking about their ass. But they keep on coming. And um, this uh, particular person don't want you to resist them no more. They're upset because you resisted them. And they don't want you to resist them. But you're steady resisting. Take a fucking hint, okay? Don't nobody want your ass. Yes. So this is a relationship where there is a masculine that is not doing right by this feminine. So the universe is telling this feminine to keep their boundaries up from this particular masculine with this relationship. To not even step into this relationship. This person is a rock star. This person has transformed. This person is time for to, to shine. You know, this person is a million different things at a million different times. You know, uh, with no apologies. And they position themselves boldly. So, they're not the same person. They transformed. They're not the same person they were in the past. So, that's why whatever this masculine is trying is annoying is immature and this feminine was like would you just fucking go you know like shoot fly you bothering me like a fucking net that they just, they just want to swat to just keep bothering them 
You know what I'm saying? And this masculine don't want them to resist them anymore. But, oh well. You know, <laughs> they keep on. Callie ain't no joke. She protects the innocent by fucking up the evil. So, watch yourself. You know? She, she wears a, a necklace of skulls. <laughs> they should tell you that right there. All right. All right. And we got here the uh, inspirational, encouraging messages from the universe. It says, I cannot, I am not a has been. I am a will be. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Because you, you, you're beginning a new cycle. And this new cycle is all fucking good to you. All you have to do is keep up your boundaries from this asshole that keeps annoying the fuck out of you. That just won't take no from a fucking answer. That's obviously doing a female wrong. That's obviously doing evil because Kelly is here to fuck their ass up. To protect the evil. By killing the innocent. By, no, she's protecting the innocent by killing the evil. Okay. Let me make that clear. She protects the innocent by killing the evil. All right. And this person is a is not a has been. They are or will be. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. All right. Let's see what divine healing message that spirit has for my Sagittarius fire sign. Very driven, motivated. Alright. Very passionate about what they do. You know. Let's see what message. What divine healing message that the spirit has for Sagittarius. Alright. As always, guys, you know, I watch movies, videos, listen to the radio when I'm preparing for a message. And today I was looking at 48 Hours with uh, Nick Nolte and um, Eddie Murphy, the first one. You know, Eddie, that's my boy. Best comedian of all time. He just, he just, the shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, I hate that I never saw him um, in concert, stand-up concert. If he ever comes out, back out and does a stand-up, I'm there. I don't give a damn what the tickets cost. I'm there. Because Eddie is the man. You know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, I was noticing the partnership that they had. That they had. Okay. You have this uh, cocky cop. Um, the white guy. That um, thinks that he can just... Solve the case by himself, but he couldn't do shit without Eddie. You know, Eddie knew the ins and out, and actually knew what was going down. You know, so um, that is significant here. Um, that um, this uh, particular person thought that they could go out on their own because they didn't want no help. They can go out on their own and solve the case, but they couldn't do it without Eddie. You know, and uh, if Eddie will pull back, will nothing be done, will nothing be solved. So, I'm feeling that this is a relationship here. And then, um, Sagittarius, this could be you that pull back and put your boundaries up. Or this could be uh, somebody you connected to, switch the roles where you need to. Um, and now they can't do anything because... This particular person is not getting the energy from the other partner because without um, the without Eddie, <laughs> the partner, um, you can't do shit because Eddie knows it all. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So uh, this particular person probably is bugging the hell out of you because they can't get shit done without you because you are their lifeline. You are the wind beneath their wings. You know, and they thought that they could do it by themselves but no you know it's your energy that uh keeps this person afloat and they didn't know that you know um but now they're coming back um because now they're aware that it's your energy that kept them afloat you know 
But uh, they try to push you away and try to go at it alone. And, you know, but it's not working. <laughs> it's not working. And now they see. And they are pissed. Because of you putting up boundaries and um, they're trying everything and they're actually getting on your fucking nerve feminine because you don't want to be fucking bothered. But they don't care. They don't they don't they don't they want attention from you regardless if you want to be bothered or not. You know, um, but you got things you got to do. You're trying to take your position in the world. You got a path that you're here uh, to do. You got a, a higher purpose in life. And this person is trying to distract you from that. Because they don't want you to get away from them. Because without your energy, they won't fly. <laughs> Basically. You know what I'm saying? So, that's the significance I feel with 48 hours here. Alright? Okay. Alright. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. What divine healing message does spirit have? For my Sagittarius. Alright. Okay. Today has been peaceful. I love days like this. Just peaceful and just serene, you know. Just chill mode, you know. I don't like all the hype and the rigmarole. I don't like all it. I like to just be chill. Make sure everybody in the family is all right. You know, everybody's clothed. Everybody is fed. Everybody is financially straight. And um, going about their day. You know, no illnesses. I mean, just a just a cool little day. This has been a cool little day. I hope it's been this way for you too, my viewers. Okay. All right. Hmm. Yeah, you got the ten of swords in reverse. Somebody is stressed because they don't want you to walk away. They don't want you to resist them. And they don't want you to walk away. And they are stressed because you've walked away. So they're doing whatever they can to get you from walking away and to get you from resisting them. But you got a, you got your boundaries up. You got your boundaries up. And you have your boundaries up for a particular reason. This person is up to some bullshit. You know, Sagittarius, this could be you. Or this could be somebody you connected to. All right. All right. But they don't want you to go nowhere. They don't want you to walk away. You've already walked away. And they want you to, they want you to come back. They they want, hey, they, this is just not over as far as they're concerned. You know, they don't want to take no for an answer. Just a fucking annoying ass net. You know? All right. All right, viewers. Give me a few seconds to look at the cards and get the download from the universe. And I will break it down for you. All right. Give me a few seconds, guys. All right, we got an empress out here. Um, Taurus, Libra energy. Um, um, also, we have the justice card out here, which is Libra energy. So, empress may be a Libra. Um, you got somebody out here that's obsessed about this empress. They want to have justice with this empress. But uh, it's the end of that. The the empress is dead in this shit. The empress ain't trying to hurt it, you know, because this person is imbalanced. This person is uh not stable. Um, this person likes to this person likes to juggle. This person um can't be with one particular woman. Um, they like to spread they spread themselves thin. And um, an empress is not going to be uh, playing second fiddle to no, no one or nothing. So if you if she's not going to be the only one, she's not going to be no one. Okay. So um, this person wants to be in a relationship with this empress. But this empress is, is not. Because they know this person likes to sleep around. Um, and be with a... A lot of other women that they're they're unstable. Um, the divine has been talking to this particular person and been telling this person to.
to change their ways. But they, they're not listening. They're not listening. They ain't listening. Um, they just want to do what they want to do. They sitting out here just going all willy-nilly. Um, spreading their wand around everywhere. Just sleeping with anything. Just lining them up like the firing squad. And just picking them down. Poop, 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 just shooting them down. Just sleeping with everybody. And because this person chooses to sleep with everybody. They don't call it STD. They call it STD because they're sitting around here. Sleeping around with everybody. You know, um, and they done caught that. They done probably caught, you know, ain't no telling what they don't caught. Because they can't keep their dick in their pants. You know, and the Empress is, uh, has had a past with this particular person. And the Empress knows that they like to sleep around, that this person is non-committal. Even though the Divine is telling this person that this Empress is the one that you're supposed to be with, they ignored it. They, they didn't listen to the divine. They didn't want to take a risk on this relationship. They didn't want to just dive into this relationship. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, they uh, were supposed to have kids with this empress. Um, maybe it was supposed to be two spiritual kids to come out of it. Maybe they supposed to have spiritual twins, you know, out of this relationship. But this person didn't listen to the divine. So the kids that were supposed to be here um, are not going to be here. Um, and this masculine is obsessed with this empress. This masculine is the devil. This masculine wants to control this empress. Uh, but this empress is, is not hearing it. This, 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 um, this, um, this masculine wants to offer some type of commitment to this empress. Um, this empress is, is the empress. She's beautiful. She's loving. She's caring. She's nurturing. She's a good mother. She's intuitive. She's connected to the to the um, universe. And this masculine has so much passion for this empress. But because they were in their ego, think that they could just, they think in their king dingling and could sleep with everything around here, the empress said no and walked away. And she walked away in the nick of time, too, because this person, she probably had been walked away from him. You know what I'm saying? But this person went out there and caught them, caught themselves something. They threw their dick on the crap table too many a nights, and craps came up. Um, this person wants to apologize to this empress, too. Um, they feel that they have some type of spiritual connection with this empress. But this empress ain't trying to hear it because she's thinking this is a fake-ass apology. You know what I'm saying? Which it is. You know, um, they know that the, the Ten of Pentacles is attached to the Empress. And that's the money, the fame, the, the, the family, the family relationships, the kids, just prosperity and abundance. And that's attached to the Empress. And um, you also emotional fulfillment for this person you know what i'm saying and, and they selfish about this empress but this empress ain't trying to hurt it. they don't want to be in a commitment with this person they don't want to be bothered with this person they have their boundaries up against this person um this person um has been waiting for this empress to contact them or call them or try to see them but it ain't been happening the empress is going on her way and she suggests that this particular person going to go on their way too um this is the sagittarius this masculine is the sagittarius in this reading the fire sign okay and um they like to sleep around um, they just kicked the empress to the curb. I mean, not necessarily kicked her to the curb. Well, yeah, kicked her to the curb. They didn't um, just move her to the side. Just kept her on the bottom shelf. You know what I'm saying? Um, making her the last alternative. I mean, uh, empress, you making an empress the last alternative? Wow. This is a plum damn idiot. You making an empress the last uh, option? Wow, for one, the Empress is not an option, <laughs> and definitely not the last. I mean, you, you know, you see the mistakes you made, Sagittarius? Now you're out there, you got fire coming out your dick, you know what I'm saying, because of the choices that you made in life. And now you're bugging the hell out of this Empress, 
and this empress is like no no i'm good no 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 i'm good no no i'm concentrating on work no and they have the boundaries up they're not even dealing with this person and this person can't stand it. this person is obsessed this person is obsessed actually she's defeating this devil you know this empress knows the truth about this person this this empress knows the truth they know if they get into a relationship with this person they're just gonna be breadcrumbing him you know what i'm saying um and they ain't got time for that they want a relationship where it's equal give and take you know, and this person is in their ego, and they, they don't want this empress to, to, to stop putting up boundaries against me. You know, I got passion for you. I don't see no love, passion. That's all this person is about, sex, 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 sex. This person don't know how to love. Maybe this person's love language is sex. Um, maybe this person was traumatized when they were younger, um, um, having to do with sex because uh their perception of sex, the use of sex, is not what it was made for, not what it was used for. You know, they use sex as a weapon. They feel that they can come along and sleep with this empress and dominate this empress and get this empress to come back. But no. You know, and this person has a freaking STD. You know? <laughs> this person wants to be emotionally fulfilled. This person is selfish. You know, they want the Empress all to themselves. You know, although they weren't, um, didn't want to be in a relationship with her, but they don't want her to be with nobody else. Ain't that something? Why they out here just willy nilly, just slinging their dick everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Just straight getting it in. You know what I'm saying? But they don't want this Empress to be with nobody. You know what I'm saying? And this person caught an STD from the Queen of Pentacles. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is usually the wife. You know, so this person probably Sagittarius is married and they didn't sit up here and cop the S T D from their wife. Okay. This person is um only cares about money. <laughs> um, probably dress dress real nice, uh wears nice jewelry and um keeps themselves together uh, for as attire. But uh, in the inside they just dirty, grimy, stinky wretched is hell. I mean, you gotta be. You sit up here giving your husband an STD. Just an old ratchet ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? Just care about looking good on the outside, but in the inside, she infested. She probably stank. Probably ass rotten. I mean, because if they got a bacterial infection, they stinking. Draws all wet. Stinking. Stank ass hoe. You know what I'm saying? Your wife's a hoe. <laughs> So this person, his wife is out here like that, and this person is out here like that. You know what I'm saying? Birds of a feather flock together, you know. But they want to come over here and sleep with my my empress because they think they will be able to dominate her, you know. And this person, this person is fucking married, but wants to offer a commitment to the empress. What can you give this empress when you're already in a relationship with someone else? Okay, you showing up as a knight. You showing up as a knight. This person is probably a water sign. You know, this water sign has been out here just wrecking shit, just being all cruel to these women. You know what I'm saying? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? You're not even on this emperor's level. You're a fucking knight. Okay? You didn't even show up in a suit or nothing. You just got your chucks on. This person likes to wear chucks. You know what I'm saying? You got your chucks on and, and uh, your t-shirt on and your jeans on. You ain't even looking the part. You know what I'm saying? When the emperor step out, the emperor the is going to step out. And this person wearing chucks and shit. Just kitty and childish like a teenager. Okay? You're not even on her level. You're not even on the empress's level. I heard sleeping with anything that ain't nailed down. Of course, this empress is going to resist you. They don't want to be a part of that. They don't want to be part of that. Your ass is poison. Your wife's ass is rotten. I bet you she stank. I know she stank. I know she got a smell. Oh, stanky ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? And and this this person is this is Sagittarius is tired of it. and they trying to come over there and trying to level up and be with the Empress. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the Empress knows the truth about this person. You know, they know you sleep around. They know you just breadcrumb people. You just gaslight people. 
you know um this empress could never have a a feeling loving relationship with you let it alone have kids by you you're not even worth that energy you're not even worth that time you're a piece of shit very fucking immature very immature and you need to go and fucking heal somewhere because all you do is think with your dick but you found out, oh, the empress, she leveling up. She, she's pinnacle. So here you come back, bugging the shit out this empress. But the universe is like, oh, fuck him. Put boundaries up to that bastard. Put boundaries up to this relationship. You ain't got time. Because you're a rock star. It's time for you to take your position in life. I got something special for you. You were sent here to do something. And uh, what this person on, they're not going on this path with you. So Callie is here to fuck his ass up. And let one of his heads be a skull on her necklace. You know. So take your married ass home. And get your 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 cable uh checked down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's up with that cable in your pants? I mean, get it checked, dog. Cause something ain't right. Why your pants wet? What's going on with you? You didn't set up here and wife the bitch that then gave you a death sentence <laughs> because she looked good. She's pleasing to the eye. I guess you thought she looked better than the emperor. Empress, but the Empress, she's boo, she's boo, you know what I'm saying? But she's boo naturally, the way you're supposed to be, the way you're supposed to be. A great talker, a great friend, a great mother, a nurturer, um, just has a big heart, you know what I'm saying? It's into spirituality, it's intuitive, connected to the universe, and you choose a hope. A hoe that you paying. That done gave you the hot stick. That ain't got no growth or nothing attached to her. But this empress has the ten of pentacles attached to her. <laughs> so I see why you're obsessed. Because she don't want your ass. You know. This person wants to be lovers with this empress. This empress ain't trying to. You know what I'm saying. This may be a twin of the Empress. Who knows? Maybe a twin. Um, maybe a Gemini. You know. But um, the Empress is not having it. The Empress is not having it, boo. Okay. And she keep resisting them. And this person keep on trying. Give it up. Somebody got a fly squatter. So I can squat this motherfucking fly. This is getting on my nerve. You know. Getting on my nerve. Okay. Alright, Sagittarius. I'm feeling the male is a Sagittarius. Probably got a Sagittarius North Node. Okay. Um a rising sign. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Straight devil. Wanna control you. But they couldn't. They couldn't control you and they couldn't get you in a relationship. They couldn't get you. They probably got two kids with this old ratchet ass, rotten pussy ass uh, wife they got. A boy and a girl. Probably got a boy and a girl with this person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You didn't want to listen. You know, to the divine. So you end up in a fucked up ass marriage. That, uh... You got two kids out of where there's two kids involved, you know. And uh, it's the end of this chapter for this marriage is over with. Ain't no love here in this marriage. Ain't no love here in this marriage. And the way I'm looking, it look like the kids ain't yours either. <laughs> she just bitch done tricked you into thinking the kid is yours. Or are you taking care of her kids for her. But whatever it is, it ain't no love in this marriage. She done been sleeping with everybody and then went out there and caught some shit and brought it home to you. But she look good, alright? 
She look good. She got all type of style and shit on and shit, you know what I'm saying? She look good. But this bitch is the forbidden fruit. You know, you done hooked up and got connected to the old Jezebel ass spirit bitch, you know. But she look good though. She has real dark hair. She has really dark hair. That's what I'm feeling. She has dark hair. Really dark hair. And I'm looking at her face. She may be um, not of the same race as this particular person. Um, yeah. And you're not of the same race as this particular person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She did you in, boo boo. Yeah. This Empress Crown Chakra is way open. They are very intuitive and they know the truth. Very spiritual. They know the truth. You know, so they discerned and they they, they follow their intuition. You know what I'm saying? So they know what the deal is. You know, that's why they resisting your dumb ass. You need to take your ass on somewhere. You got damn net. Alright. Somebody sitting in solitude. Somebody's over in solitude, studying some things, researching some things. You know, trying to gain some knowledge about something. Okay. And it's the end of that chapter here. Okay. You know, there will be no... You, my, my cards are usually, uh, don't come out this deck upside down. But I'm going to leave this down. I mean, for as, uh, this partnership... And the movement with this going forward with this uh choosing to go forward with this with this partnership and making decisions for the future. This is upside down, it's not happening. It's not happening. Okay. So this Empress Crown Chakra is way open. This Empress has been sitting in solitude and has learned a lot of things, has got a clarity from the divine on a lot of things about this Sagittarius. This masculine Sagittarius. So they put their boundaries up and been resisting them. And they will they have not they will not be making the decision to move forward with this partnership. At all. This is not a part of their life anymore. Okay? And someone just can't take no for an answer. Okay? This person is going through something. They uh they did not have any material harvest. Uh, this, this person is very materialistic. The Sagittarius masculine is very sad, uh, um, materialistic. And they're losing all the material gain that they had. Because when the divine comes for you, the, the one thing, the things that you worship would be the first things they take. So this person was very superficial because they got with this person that they married um, because she looked good. And they thought that um, money was attached to her. They thought she was the divine feminine because she looked the way she looked and, and, could, and because she was of a different race. You know, you know, so they thought that they could prosper. Uh, they didn't even love this person either. They just thought that they could gain from this person material things. And they probably did. But now, since they tried to come up against a divine being, they're losing all the materials that they gain. And this particular marriage is over. There's no love in this marriage. The kids are not his. He done got an STD. This person is going through karma. And this empress has them blocked. And is not being bothered with them because they know they only want sex. This this empress is using the intuition and she knows this person only wants sex. Ain't no love there. Sex and money. All material. And that's what this person wants. And the empress knows it. That's why this person is losing every fucking thing. Yeah. This empress has uh been in solitude and uh, researching some things and uh, consulting with her spirit family, her ancestors, her spirit guides, Mother Earth, um, her angels, um, the universe, and she then, you know, um, has transformed. 
she's in butterfly mode now. She's a get out of her cocoon. I mean, the, 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 the chapter is over for them to be in solitude. And she it's time for her to bust out of her cocoon and take a position in life. Like the ancestor said, it's time for you to take step in, into your power boldly. Own your shit because you're a rock star. You're meant to shine. You're supposed to be on front street. You're supposed to be different. You have a purpose here. And it's time for you to, you know, step into it. You've been through a, a total transformation. You know? And this transformation is going to bring you into some stability. You're a builder. It's going to bring you into some stability in your life. Okay? And you know, because you, 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 you honored the divine, you listened to the divine, and you stood your ground against this asshole. I mean, you went through a lot standing your ground against this asshole because this person is relentless. They want you to unblock them. You got probably got them blocked them from your social media, blocked them from the phone. You know, they just can't get to you. You pull your energy back because they can't do nothing. They losing everything over there. Nothing that they trying to do is, is, is working out. And because you stood your ground. Kelly is here. To protect you from this asshole. And to actually fuck this person up. If they don't. If they could quit, keep fucking with you. I mean Kelly standing there with her. With her, with her tongue out. Bloodthirsty. Ready. Like ready to jump. You, you still at it? Okay. Okay. I'm here now. Yes. More. She's ready to fuck your ass up. I mean, what this empress got to do? They not wavering. They don't want you to. They don't want no love off of you got. They not trying to hear your fake ass apology. Y'all ain't got no type of soul connection. You're not coming back to them. You resisting them. You're not going to stop resisting them. And the divine was trying to talk to them. Telling them to take a risk, take a risk, take a chance on this empress. But they didn't want to listen. They want to go to this superficial uh, bitch over here. You know, probably got some ass she done bought. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some her she bought. Ain't real, ain't natural, bitch. Ain't really ain't got no ass, bitch. Really ain't got no hair and shit. And above all, the bitch is poison. Her wound is poison. She's sleeping around with everybody. She done got you some shit that you can't get rid of. And you expect to come to this empress with that shit. I mean, seriously? Really? Stand your ground. Stand your motherfucking ground. This person is crazy. You know the truth. You know? This person is on their shadow side. This person has some shadow work to do. This person has an evil energy on them. You know? This type of person that um, won't take no for an answer. This type of person like to come in your dreams. Astral travel to you. Pretend like they somebody that they not to get you to come to them. But this empress is very intuitive and very connected and they discern very well. They feel your negative ass energy around. And it's not even negative energy. This is like a demonic energy. Dark energy. This person is... This person is very demonic. Very demonic. And very sexual. I'm feeling some dark sexual energy. I don't like that. I don't like that feeling. I, I've got that feeling um, from a person that I was dealing with. And I didn't like that. That's why I left this person alone a long time ago. You know, but this person is a narcissist. 
and they want to control uh, someone and they just won't take no for an answer. So I understand what this empress is going through because I'm going through the same thing as we speak. A dark demonic energy, you know? They just won't take no for an answer. This person is living straight up out their shadow side, straight in their soft node. Very demonic, dark individual that needs some healing. They need some healing bad. This person has a demon attached to them. A dark entity attached to them. See, it's one thing to feel some toxic energy. But toxic energy is different than demonic energy. That energy is toxic too, but it goes so much deep. And that's what is attached to this particular person. A demonic entity. And they want to come over here to my empress. Have you lost your fucking mind? I mean, get your mind right. Get your mind right, man. The fuck, you know? Get your ass on. I mean, you, you have to be careful with this type of person because this person is not in the regular state of mind. I mean, this person probably is not the same person they were in the past when this empress was dealing with them. And it's a total different 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 level now of uh toxic energy. I mean it's just it's, you know went from toxic to demonic. It's a totally different level now. You know, maybe this person became what they attached themselves to. You know, um <laughs> these uh some men think that um Especially melanated men, they think that they have to uh, be with a woman of a different race to level up. Um, they don't feel the melanated woman is the right choice if they want a status in life. Ain't that something? That's hatred of yourself. You hate the woman that you came from. You hate yourself. See, that's self-hatred there. You know? And now look what you done got into. When you was dealing with this empress, uh, you weren't dealing with kids that, that you was taking care of that one not your own. <laughs> that you thought was yours. When you was dealing with this empress, she was giving you all love. This person right here that you thought was better because they have of a different race, a different status, she ain't loving you. All she wants is your money. That's how she care about his money. She got her sleeping with other people. They brought you home in STD. You know, uh, but uh, she the right one with status. And, you know, you, you you want to position yourself in life, and you feel that having a melanated woman on your arm it wasn't gonna do it. But this empress has the ten of pentacles attached to them. Okay. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny because the melanated woman is the original woman. She's the prototype. <laughs> She's the prototype. Okay. And the darker she is, the more close to the spiritual realm she is. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, man, these men got the skewed sense, they have a skewed perception on life, you know, and that's, it's all stuff at home, I mean, at home with the parents, but at home to, you know, not teaching them to love themselves and, and, and thinking that, I mean, they just don't love themselves, they don't love themselves. You know, because the woman is from where you came, you know. But hey, now this person sees that they chose wrong. Because, ah ha ha, the Ten of Pentacles is with this Empress. Okay? <laughs> but some men think that you got to have a. <laughs> 
somebody of a different race. I mean, that's crazy, you know. Uh, yeah. You're beautiful, honey. You're beautiful even when you don't think it, of course. You know what I'm saying? You are the epitome, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> of beauty. You know, it all starts with you, you know. Um, it's sad. You know, uh, it's not divine timing for this. Okay? It's not divine timing for this. All right? So, the divine is like, get your ass out of here. You're not ready to be with this empress. You're not ready. You can't even show up looking decent. You showing up with chucks and jeans on and a t-shirt. This person probably has a tattoo sleeve on their arm. You know? Bringing in some roses. I mean, red roses, they cool. You know what I'm saying? But who rocks red roses now? You know, I know I like yellow roses and pink roses and white roses, you know. Red roses are beautiful, but they so dead. They're just old school. You know what I'm saying? Do something new, dude. Okay? Do something new. Yeah. Yeah. This empress has been through the storm with this asshole telling them no, no, no. And they no telling what this person been doing. Probably bugging the hell out of them. Bugging the hell out of them. Had to. This person had to block this person from their phone. They had to block this person from their social media. They're not allowed at their home. This person, whatever they're giving to this person, they don't want no gifts. They don't want nothing. Bugging the hell out of them. Let me apologize. I want to apologize. They know it's a fake ass apology. But let me take you out. Let me take you out on a date. Let me write you a letter. They ain't trying to hear that shit. I ain't trying to hear that shit. And that's immature anyway. Take a person out to dinner. I mean, it's cool, but that ain't how you make up. If you fuck up big, you should know how to make up big, man. That's for them, the shit, the tactics that you're doing, that was good for them hoes that you was fucking with, but not for an empress. You got to come with it. But this empress ain't worrying about that. They done been through the storm, and now they're getting ready to see the sun. It's almost over. They're completing the chapter. They're completing the cycle. And now they can see the sun. You know, they understand that it's ups and downs in life. You know, uh, especially being an empress, there's going to be a lot of shit that you go through. Because it's training for you to become that empress. See, people just think that the empress just happens to be an empress. No, the empress goes through some shit, honey. Because the divine is not going to turn that job over to just any female. That's why I tell you. You know what I'm saying? My favorite phrase. Bitch, you don't know my life. You just looking at what I got. You don't know what I what, what I stood, stood the test of to get this. Bitch, you don't know my life. Okay? I put in work for this. Bitch, you don't know my life. You know? So quit, quit, quit tripping off what you see and get with the program, okay? Now you're going to go through ups and downs, you know what I'm saying? That's training for you. It's seasoning for you. So you know how to shake and move out here. You know what I'm saying? You have courage. You know what I'm saying? It said no, no one is fearless, no one. But even though I'm not fearless, I'm courageous. When I show up, you know, I don't run away from fear. I jump into my courage. Okay? Very courageous. Very courageous. Because you're a rock star. You're a rock star. You're not a has-been. You are a will-be. And motherfuckers don't understand, man. They don't understand out here, man. You know what I'm saying? They don't even know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? They just lost in the sauce. You know? 
one. Don't take it personally. Okay? Don't take it personally. Because this is what you had to go through to get to where you are, Empress. You know what I'm saying? You've learned a lot from this jacked up ass Sagittarius. That's so egotistical that they can't take no for an answer. They can't even represent that's going to show up in some jeans and some chucks and a t-shirt on. With some old ass roses trying to write a song or a letter to you. You can't even stand up and just be a man and speak from your heart. You got to have gadgets and gimmicks and shit. Get your weak, young ass, immature ass out of here. This is an empress, dude. Then you gonna show up with some, just some flowers? That's all you got? You want this empress to get an STD, but you just gonna give us some flowers. I'll give you some flowers for that this, this STD. Ain't this a fair trade? Get your stank ass out of here and go heal somewhere. Go get you some penicillin. If that's gonna work. Get your need to take a shot ass out of here. You and your rotten pussy ass wife. But she look good though, don't she? She look good though. Hmm? So, you know, don't take this personally. This is a chapter in your life that you had to go through. And I know you learned a lot. You learned a lot. You know, but you got your backpack on your shoulder and, and you, 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 you use a duck. You're swimming in this water. You said it means you're surviving. And you got your backpack up on your shoulder because you know it's time to go. It's the end of this chapter. It's the end of this chapter. It's just impermanence. You go through the storm to come out and see the sun. Life is lessons. Life is lessons. You're going to go through ups and downs. You're going to go through ups and downs. Because that's how you learn. It's going to be rickets in the line. Because if the line was straight, how would you learn anything? How would you know how to act when the line got rickety? But you're courageous. That's why you're chosen to do this. See, the divine don't make no mistakes. They choose the right people for the job. The empress just didn't arrive to be an empress. They went through the shit. You see what they're going through? You see what this empress is going through? See what she's dealing with? Somebody that wants to have her like a puppet on the string. A straight up fucking narcissist. And if anybody has dealt with a narcissist, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. I mean, it's hard to explain. I mean, they're crazy. They are freaking crazy. And that's what this person is. And they're so egotistical, they think everybody wants them. Oh, you ain't going to say no to me. Yes, she did. And she walked the fuck away. So leave her alone. You know? Leave her alone. She done walked away from your ass. There's no benefit of this person, of you in this person's life anymore. All right? These empress the fuck alone, stank ass Sagittarius. You wounded, go heal. You wounded, go and heal. If you can heal from this wound, you better, you better stay with the bitch you with. Because y'all just like. You buy her swinging your wine and she out there doing what she doing. Just being reckless. Irresponsible. Childish. But she look good though, right? <laughs> you got status, right? Because she's of a different race. She look good though, right? That ass she bought look good. Fake ass booty bitch. That hair she about look good. Bitch got wigs all around the motherfucking house and shit. You know, wig be sliding back off her head. And you looking at her like, damn, yeah. I see you. I see you watching her drink. 
I see a male watching this lady drink, and then when she drinks, she's get belligerent, just ignorant. And he's looking at her like, this bitch is crazy. <laughs> and this bitch wig sliding back, and he's looking at her like, damn, you know what I'm saying? But that's your wife. That's what you wanted, right? So leave this empress alone. You're not going to get no, no justice with this empress. This empress don't want you. They know the truth about you. They're not going to take a risk on you. This empress has the ten of pentacles. They emotionally fulfilled. They not finna get with you for what? <laughs> Mintonkin. Longing for home. Belonging. The original light workers. Yes. This empress is one of the original light workers. And you may be an original light worker too because I pulled that twin card. This could be twins. And you longing for home. And this empress is your home. Because y'all share a soul. But you done got off your path and then went up here and got with a hoe. Because she's of a different race. And you feel that it's status with a person of a different race. And you figure you could get some money. She probably had money. You done married for money and status. We're not alone. The Empress got the money and the status. And fulfills you emotionally. The whole kitten caboodle over here. But you over here with this slide to the back wig head ass bitch. You know. They got stuck between her legs. Yeah, you want to come home to this Empress. Yeah, you do. But. <laughs> it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen because Divine was trying to tell you and you didn't want to listen because you're too damn egotistical, you know. So Divine's like, get your ass out of here. Get your ass out of here and go back where you chose to be. But this Empress is not going to um, jeopardize her blessings to fuck with you, you know. You stink. You nasty. You got sewage coming out your dick. Why would they want you? Straight up. Straight up. And you know, this empress has uh, broke the chain. Ancestral patterns and healing, rewriting the future. So this empress was sent here to break this ancestral curse. So the women in her family probably uh, succumbed to narcissists. Because if you're a healer and you're somebody of a light, you attract narcissists. You attract people that need healing. So this is what her mom probably did. Grandmother, great-great-grandmama. Her dad-granddaddy probably was a narcissist. Her dad probably was a narcissist. You know? And this empress is so strong that the ancestors told her, chose her, to break this generational curse. See, she's sitting here to do some shit. She ain't got time to get no STD from this stank-ass water sign. This person probably has a Sagittarius North Node. Um, has water in his chart. Um, probably Cancer. Um, has fire in the chart. Probably Leo also, as well as Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Definitely water. Definitely, um, probably Pisces also. Pisces in his chart. Cancer in his chart. Leo in his chart. And Sagittarius in his chart. Mm-hmm. Scorpio also. Mm-hmm. Did I tell you a chart? Set, did I tell you a chart? <laughs> yeah. This person is Scorpio. Um... Pisces, Cancer, Leo, Aries, mm-hmm, Sagittarius, mm-hmm, in the chart. Yeah, straight up narcissist. And his empress is broke this generational curse. Okay, and you know what she did? Loved herself. Loved herself enough to know that you don't want to be with somebody that's non-committal. You don't want to be with somebody that sleeps around with other women. You know your self-worth. See, that's what I'm talking about, ladies. See, I love to see this. I love to see this. 
you know, this uh, quarter of readings that I'm doing, these is women that are standing up to these narcissist ass men. And they're putting themselves first. And they're healing themselves. And they're putting themselves back on the throne. They're breaking ancestral curses. See, that's what we need to do, ladies. If these men don't want to get right and get on the right trail, then fuck them. They can go fuck each other. Or deal with these hoes out here of these different races that they think is right that's stinking their ass with STDs. Y'all have to understand that a melanated woman is the symbol of supremacy. She was the first woman. She fell off her path. She fell. That's why the earth is in this chaos that it's in now. But now she's 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 ready to she's coming back. She's healing herself and she's ready to put that big fat ass back upon that throne. Y'all ever see how wide the throne chairs are? That's not why for a man booty. That's why for a woman's ass and thighs. And that's not and, and these women walking around here of different races, they ain't got no ass and thighs like these melanated women. <laughs> okay. They they do now. Some of them do now because these melanated men are 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 dealing with these women. You could tell when a when a woman of another race is dealing with a melanated man because she spread gets and ass and everything. You know, but when they went dealing with them, they looked like they had a damn earned board in their back pocket. Flat asses. That's what I grew up around. I mean, in the eighties, these women was flat asses and every damn thing. Now. It's a different thing because uh, they done got into these men in mind that another race is right. And they done just let the melanated woman just fall to the side, you know. What you do need to do is research the, um, the story of Medusa. I mean, not the one that's on the surface, but you need to go deep and listen deep and research the real story the real ground floor of the story of Medusa and Athena and learn what happened to Medusa and learn how she was taken off of her throne because Medusa taught Athena everything Athena learned Athena is the goddess of wisdom but everything that she learned she learned from Medusa she would come and worship Medusa in the sanctuary Medusa's home was in a sanctuary and Athena worshipped her okay alright Medusa was raped Medusa was raped in the sanctuary okay I'm, you have to do your own research on it because I don't need nobody giving me comments about how I'm prejudiced because I'm not. I mean, the truth is the truth. But do your research on, on the Medusa story because she's so um, <laughs> mistreated. She's so just like just like the melanated woman. OK, she just so, you know, they just dogged out. They just dogged out. You know, so do your research on Medusa and Athena, okay? Um, but yeah, that's what's going on here. That's what's going on here. And this person just thought that they would get status and all this stuff and all the time. What they wanted in life, this empress had all the time. <laughs> Money. Status, every all everything your heart desire was with this empress, but you chose another partner. You chose another partner, another partner that you probably thought looked better than this empress because they got straight hair, which is dead hair. It's not uh, real hair. It's dead. It's animal hair. As as a matter of fact, it's animalistic. You know, uh, it's goat hair. Um, okay, um, but that's what you like. But because that's what the world has taught you, has taught you what beauty is. You know, with the television programs and everything. You know, uh, a melanated woman with her coily hair, circular hair, like the universe is circular. 
No, we are tree people, so we look like the trees. Okay? <laughs> we are the roots of this earth, you know. But this person thought, and now they're looking stupid over there with an STD, over there taking care of kids that ain't theirs, in a marriage that uh, there's no love in it because all they care about is money. All they care about is sex. She's sleeping around, he's sleeping around. You know what I'm saying? And and they get together and they combust the STD. Both of them just over there just rotten. You know what I'm saying? Leave my empress out of it. Leave my empress out of it. All right, Sag. All right. Let's get some feminine energy out of here because, man, we need it. We need it. You know? And keep on. We at it, sisters. We growing. You know? Keep, keep growing. You know? Got Spider Woman. Universal connected. This empress is universally connected. That's why you're losing all your money and stuff over there. You know, all your material wealth you had, your car, your house, your money, your job, you're losing all that because you try to come up against this empress and wound this empress and get this empress an STD. That's some wrong shit, man. You should be put in jail for attempted murder, I think. They need to change that on the law books. They really do. But this person is a spider woman. They're universally connected. That's why it's your ass. That's why Kelly is here chewing on your ass. Because you done fucked up. You done fucked up. And this empress has her boundaries on you. Against you. You know. They blooming. She blooming. She a rock star. She finna take off. She, she ended that chapter. With your stank ass. And she's on a new level. I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. She a rock star. She's blooming. This is her time. You hear me? Man, she taking a position, stepping into her power boldly. She ain't worrying about it. what the fuck you talking about, because you ain't talking about shit. Look at you. But this person won't they forgiveness. She has Oshun energy. She fine and shit. Look at them thighs. Look at that melanated, beautiful skin. Look at that coily hair. Beautiful. Beautiful. Probably look way better than what you got over there. That dead ghost walking around. Hmm, look at that. Look at them thighs. And look, she know it too. I'm cocky with it. That old shoon energy. They want you to forgive them. And they think you so sexy. They, they're attracted to you so much. They're attracted to you. And this person sitting up here attracted to you. And lusting after you. But didn't go for you because... You want the status that they want. You want the, you know, you know. <laughs> but they want you to forgive them. They want you to forgive them. You know, but you got that ocean energy. You'll forgive them because you're forgiving them for yourself, not for them. You know, because you're divine, and you know why? Because Tai Chi up in this motherfucker. And and this time, you should take your position, baby. You finna get pure luck. And look, she got the blindfold on because she don't even know when it's coming. This is gonna be like, bam, all of a sudden. Shit falling out of pockets. Got pinnacles falling out of her and shit. You know, when she fought, she fought in our pinnacles. You know what I'm saying? That's the ten pinnacles. And that's what this jackass know that is attached to this empress. But they found out too late. And that's great, you know. The divine will hide you sometime because you have people in your life that will take advantage of your blessings. So you don't really come into your blessings until these people are out your life. Until you decide to give yourself uh, self-love and get these people out of your life. You be blocking your blessings. So get these motherfuckers out your life. Get these demonic ass people out your life that don't serve you no purpose. That try to get you to sway off the path from your purpose. Because they want to keep you down and control you. Because they don't want you to be above them. <laughs> That's the story of Medusa. Y'all check it out now. Check it out. Check it out. But Tai Chi is here. You finna be stanky rich. You finna be stanky rich, Empress. It's finna be like that. And I'm loving that. And you looking good doing it. You look, oh, Shun, looking good doing it. Man, kill yourself. You know what I'm saying? Keep your ass over there with that person that you thought was, was right. 
look like uh she's probably uh she looks Spanish. I want to say Spanish. Um, that's what I'm feeling here. Get real dark hair and a real light skin. I mean, she's just like pale white. So I'm thinking um, Spanish. I'm thinking Dominican even. Hmm. Yeah. You stay on over there, you know. Um, this person is not of this country. This person probably tries to um, pass himself off as being a mixed female. Mixed with white and black. But she's actually not mixed at all. She's just pure um, Spanish or whatever. You know, but she likes to mess with melanated men. Likes to uh, destroy melanated men. I'm, I'm feeling a succubus en energy from this particular person. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm feeling a succubus en energy from this person that they like to take advantage of melanated men to destroy them. This person has a demonic energy about herself. A demonic Jezebel energy, succubus energy. And she's pretending to be something that she's not. She's not mixed at all. She's not mixed at all. But she portrays to be. And she went and bought us some ass. She got a big old stanky nasty looking ass. That's uh. Need to be sent to some ammonia somewhere. Because that ass stank. She rotten. Because she had so many sexual partners. And got so many sexual entities tied to her. That you can smell her. And she has a smell. An odor I'm thinking. Ugh. Water sign. You mess with that. Sad you mess with that. Man you think that's right. Why this prince is over. This empress over here smelling like water. Damn. And she over there smelling like apple cider vinegar. Probably put apple cider vinegar in her bath water. Because she that's going to help her cleanse her inner, inner self out. Because she knows she got some shit going on with herself. She know it. She knew it all the time. And was just using this masculine. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I'm getting so many downloads. It's just ridiculous. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. This motherfucker, uh, you need to cleanse your energy from this this person because this person is the type of person that likes to come show up in your dreams, want to ask to travel because this person behind the scenes doing all type of shit. So cleanse your energy from this person so they can't um, talk to you telepathically or show up in your dreams or because this is a demonic ass fucker here. So cleanse your energy. Scatter this bitch from on your frequency. Because they don't deserve to be there. Alright. Alright. Everybody need to cleanse. The empress need to cleanse. The Sagittarius need to cleanse. Because they got an STD. And, and then this damn. His wife need to cleanse. Because she's stinking and got an STD. You know. The empress. You need to just cleanse your energy. To keep these motherfuckers from doing shit. On the spiritual realm. Uh, this is the magic that they doing out here. And um, they just need to be cleansed. Period. They need to be sit their ass in a pot of boiling water. Because they both of their ass is raunchy. To keep y'all wounded ass on. And go cleanse. And get some penicillin or, or shit. Just get it cut off dog. Because hey. <laughs> hey. You know what I'm saying? But you're not swinging in my empress way. Because Callie here to fuck you up. And keep on. She fucking you up now. Because when Callie show up, she, she ain't showing up for no reason. So you're getting fucked up now. You want more? So Callie back there like, more. She'll give it to you. She'll give it to you. It's over. It's the end of that. It's the death of that. It's the death of you trying to control this empress. It's the death of you. Whatever you're doing. She don't want you. Your ass is rotten. Your wife is rotten. And y'all keep y'all rotten ass together. Alright. Alright. Well this is what I have for my Sagittarius. I hope this. Um, 
brought some healing to someone. I hope it was some gold nuggets in this particular message. Of course, take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, reverse the roles if you feel you need to. Only you know how this fits in your life. And use discernment when getting these messages. Okay? But really research uh, Medusa and Athena. Okay? And use your common sense when you when you research things. You got to dodge the hijack. Okay, because they put things in there to keep you, you know, like what? Question it, but dodge the hijack and look at it for what it is. Okay. All right. All right, guys, all my viewers, don't forget to hit that like button. Um, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah. And we on the rise, Empresses. This is us. We're getting back on our throne. They're either going to get it together or get, the, get or get on the bus. And get the fuck on out of here. Because we're not having it. It's 2022. We're resolving all this past shit. And we breaking generational curses here. We on the rise, lady. We taking back over. We taking over. It's us. Alright. Thank you for viewing my channel. I love you guys. And until the next video, know thyself, know thyself, know thyself. I love you guys. Bye-bye.